Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kevin with Deepwell Services, and I'm here today to talk to you guys a little bit about the pressure control components that we would find on one of our Deepwell Services snubbing units. So in general, uh, you have five pressure bearing components involved in the snubbing operation. Uh, you're gonna have your annular bag or your stripping bag, your stripping BOPs, your equalize and bleed off valves, and then you'll have your primary BOP equipment uh, located on the wellhead. For the deep well snubbing units, all the stripping uh, BOPs and the equalize and bleed off valves are contained within the structure of the unit. So when you rig up the unit, you're not rigging up a separate pressure control or stripping package. It all gets lifted up in one pick with the jack and the rest of the stubbing unit structure. So the first or the uppermost piece of pressure control equipment is the stripping annular, also known as the bag. Uh, what this is used for is to strip pipe in during lower pressure operations. Uh, it's basically a large rubber element with a hydraulic piston below it. When the piston gets pushed up, it squeezes a thick rubber donut-shaped uh, element around the pipe, and this is what causes the seal between the outside of the tubing and the inside of the casing in the space we call the annulus. The annular BOP itself is rated for 5,000 PSI, but we don't strip pipe or use it as a, a stripping BOP on any jobs that have over 3,500 PSI of pressure just because working the pipe through the closed element inevitably causes wear and tear on the rubber and anything over 3,500 PSI, we need to look at something that is a little more capable of holding back the high pressure. The next components we're gonna talk about are the rams. So there are stripping rams that are contained in the structure of the unit and there are primary rams that are contained or are located lower on the wellhead. Uh, it is an important difference between the two uh, styles of rams. Uh, for more information on that, we did put out a video uh, a month or two ago on our YouTube channel that does a good job explaining the difference between the two. So if you want more information on that, refer to that video. Uh, right now, I'm going to talk to you guys just briefly about the stripping ram itself. So this is, of course, the BOP that we keep closed during higher pressure jobs. These rams are going to be kept closed while we're tripping pipe into or out of the well, and they're going to be the pressure control device that actually seals uh, and keeps the pressure pressurized fluid inside the well. They're located just below the annular within the snubbing stack, and again, there's two of them, an upper ram and a lower ram. The last two pieces of equipment that I'm going to talk about are the equalize and bleed off valve. So these are standard quarter turn um, MSI valves or low torque valves, similar to what you'd see on frac iron, except in the snubbing unit, they're hydraulically controlled. What this does is uh, the equalized valve allows the operator to take pressure from the casing and introduce it into the snubbing stack. So if there's a closed BOP or a frac valve, it allows us to pull pressure from below that component and introduce it above the stack. The bleed off valve is also controlled hydraulically by the operator and its function is the exact opposite. When opened, it allows pressure to be vented out of the stack towards a pit or a pressure vessel and allows the snubbing stack to be bled off. If anyone has any questions after watching this video, please reach out to a member of the training department or operations staff. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.